Did you know that in the United States today, over 80% of adults own a credit card, and the average number of credit cards owned per person is 3.1? The credit card may be the king of American shopping, but was it actually powerful enough to influence the name of a pro football team? We'll dig into the mystery on this episode of Mascots and Monikers. Real quick, be sure to give this video a like by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribe to Mascots and Monikers for the latest videos as soon as they drop. In 2017, the San Diego Chargers made the move two hours north to Los Angeles and became the city's second NFL football team. The Chargers may have had nearly 60 years of history in the city of San Diego, but the move was somewhat of a homecoming as the franchise was actually born in 1959, as that's right, the Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers began play in the fall of 1960 as one of eight charter members of the newly formed American Football League when they joined the Denver Broncos, Dallas Texans, Oakland Raiders, New York Titans, Houston Oilers, Buffalo Bills, and Boston Patriots. It was Dallas Texans owner Lamar Hunt who was most instrumental in forming the league and when looking to establish an LA franchise, he was recommended to call Baron Hilton, son of Hilton Hotels founder Conrad Hilton, as the possible new owner. Hilton would agree to start a team, but he of course needed a team name. This is where the story differs a bit depending upon who you ask. Around the same time, Hilton had recently launched his new Carte Blanche credit card, which earned the user points that could be redeemed at Hilton Hotel properties. Lamar Hunt and others close to Hilton have said they ultimately believe he chose the name Chargers as publicity for his newly released Carte Blanche charge card as a constant reminder for people to charge their purchases with it. Hilton, however, a Los Angeles native, has publicly stated that he liked the name Chargers because when he would attend Dodger baseball and USC football games, fans would chant charge along with the bold bugle being sounded as a rallying cry for their teams. This theory would also coincide with their inaugural logo featuring a shield with a horse head and a lightning bolt to signify an ancient army charging on horseback into battle. Either way, the Chargers would only spend one year in Los Angeles before departing for San Diego prior to the 1961 season. Despite the moves to and from Los Angeles over the course of their history, team logos and colors have been largely consistent over the years. Although their uniform designs have changed from time to time, some combination of navy blue, powder blue, gold, and white have always been the mainstay colors, with the lightning bolt logo being prominently featured throughout. The team's San Diego years also featured the team's unofficial mascot, known as Boltman, that was essentially a human lightning bolt who became synonymous with the franchise and would even take the field with the team at time over the years. So whether the Chargers name was the result of a credit card publicity stunt or a rallying cry into battle, one thing fans can count on is that the team will be charging into the new Los Angeles Stadium at Hollywood Park in 2020 with hopefully many more great years in LA to look forward to. That'll do it for this episode of Mascots and Monikers. Thanks for watching.